Good evening, curling fans, and welcome to the Everest Canadian Senior Men's and Women's Curling Championships. We are live from the Community First Curling Centre in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, for our final draw of championship pool play. Tonight, our feature game is Team Quebec versus Team Northern Ontario. Quebec is looking to advance to the semifinals, and Northern Ontario is playing the role of spoiler. I'm your host, Peter Stesky. It's been a long week of curling. We started with 14 men's and ladies teams. We worked our way down to the final eight. So they played six game round robin within pools. Top four teams advanced. You play your crossover games, pool A versus pool B. And this is now the final draw. Our semifinals and finals will be tomorrow. So the situation tonight, Northern Ontario, they're four and five, they have been eliminated. Quebec is six and three, and from what I understand, they control their own destiny. They could finish in a three-way tie for the playoff spot where two teams would advance out of those three, but they beat both of those teams, New Brunswick and Saskatchewan. So with a win, Quebec will advance to the semifinals. A loss, and they're gonna need some help. We'll meet the teams here. Northern Ontario out of the Fort William Curling Club. Lead, Bill Peloza. Second, Dale Weir Weirisma. Sort of choked on that one, Dale. Sorry, buddy. Third, Scott Henderson. And their skip, Mike Desolé. We're going to stick with just calling him Dale for the rest of the night. And for Quebec, lead stone, Dan Bedard. Second, Max Elmale. Third, Serge Reed, and their skip, Francois Roberge. Quebec has the hammer here to start. Out turn draw around the center guard here for Eric, for Dan. Gonna update you on the standings here. In the men's, Alberta's wrapped up first place, 9-0. and Ontario has wrapped up second place, 8-1. and and then we got a three-way tie at six and three, New Brunswick, Quebec, and Saskatchewan. So Ontario plays New Brunswick. New Brunswick needs to win that game to stay alive. And then BC playing Saskatchewan. Again, Saskatchewan a win, and they can advance to the semis, a loss, and they could be eliminated, so. And then the ladies gets real messy. In first place, you have Saskatchewan and BC at seven and two. And then there's a four-way tie for second place between Ontario, Nova Scotia, Alberta, and Manitoba. And there's actually a scenario where five teams could finish with four losses, and only two of those five would advance to the Semi-final, so that gets pretty messy and too complicated to explain at this time. So an out-turn draw by Dan, slid just a hair deep, a really nice freeze made by Bill, and now Dan's gonna try to freeze to the rock. Bill just threw it's out there a little bit. Needs to sit and curl. He's trying to do both. Pretty nice shot. So Dale Warisma, that was much better. Throwing second stones here, looking to play just the out turn, little tappy freeze situation. Definitely throwing enough weight. He's trying to move things around in the rings. Gotta curl hard. Gonna hit it a hair thin. All right, it's okay. So Northern Ontario lies one, but the Quebec Rock's in a very nice spot directly in front of it. And they have another one at the back of the rings here. So they're gonna go with the peel. They like this setup in the rings and they could actually run this green onto the other green. That would be ideal for Max here. 
Throwing sack and stones for Quebec. Yeah, yep. Himself. Hard. Hard, 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 hard. C'est déjà roulé, Dan. Actually opens up the back and gets a little bit in the way of their rock in the back of the eight foot. Not sure how deep they want Dale to throw this one. They could just throw a tight guard here. Good line, where's the weight? It's right here. Got a curl. 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 That's a very nice spot for that rock to end up. It's a tougher peel now because his yellow one's actually in the way of hair, but what they could do is run green onto yellow onto the back green they could actually make all the greens go away here with a perfect shot at least the two on the center line go yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. it's gonna over curl and stuff it The yellow one pops out into the open. So a good chance now for Northern Ontario to apply some pressure. They can make a soft little come around here. Colin hack the board, wait. Out turn, you'd like to nose hit this yellow one on the forefoot. Scott Henderson throwing third stones for Northern Ontario with his much talked about yeah. reverse stabilizer. Yeah, yes. oh, hey. Hey. yeah the fans Never this week are calling it a coffee table, hey, that uh, sliding device. Ah. Hey. I should have asked him about it before the game. We're just having a nice chat too. Scott's a beauty. Known him for years, used to curl against him up at the Grand Prix and the McDonald's spiel in Thunder Bay. He was unable to navigate the guard and now a chance. They've sort of been trading opportunities here. A chance for Quebec to lie first, third, fourth, and fifth. It's gonna be a pretty lonely green rock in the eight foot if this shot is executed by third stone Serge Reed. Serge yeah. played in the 2010 Briar and the 2019 oh, Canadian yeah. Seniors. This is his second trip here to the Everest Senior oh, Curling Championship. Good scrub yeah. there by the boys. And now a little bit of trouble for Northern Ontario without the hammer. Control. They're gonna hit shot rock, but they have to roll somewhere. If they nose that rock, there's gonna be a double to lie five. And from what I understand, that's not a great position to be in if you don't have the hammer in the first. Final shot here for Scott in the first end. Big over curl, slides through the hole, and now a chance to lie five. Four, I lied yes. to you, chance to lie four. Which means I lied to you to say there's gonna be a double to lie five as well, but. So an open hit here. Good chance for Quebec with the hammer. Trying to lock up their semi-final spot. On, Max, Serge is gonna maybe let him off the hook here. Curled just enough. 
I don't know. He threw that one Mach 3. That was uh, coming down there pretty fast for an open hit, able to carve it over. And now I don't know what you do if you're Mike Desilet. Try to make a double, limit the damage a little bit. Maybe you make a roll on your last one. Same shooter against the turning a little flop. Cool. It's not like this is the easiest double either. The rock's edge on edge probably has to hit about three quarters of it. It's going to throw control weight out turn off the center line. This is Mike's first seniors. Played in the 2003 Briar. Won the provincial at the Port Arthur. Really trying to carve this over. It's close. He actually was going for the roll as opposed to the double. His ends up in a decent spot though. It's tough for Quebec to make this hit and avoid their back yellow and get by the guard at the same time. Although it's a lefty intern here for Francois. Two thousand and six Briar champion. He played with Jean Michel Menard. Max was also on that team. They defeated Glenn Howard in the final of the Briar. So he'd love to throw the same shot that uh, was just made by Mike. Max trying to carve this one over. Might be able to punch it through the hole if he hits it thick enough. Rolls the shooter over. I think they continue to lie four. I think you've got to just, uh, you know what, take your medicine, rip this double. Three's a lot better than five here. If you whip it super hard, you might even get your shooter going over in this area here. You're going to kill both of these stones. You'd be a little nervous if Kevin Cooey was throwing this. There's definitely a triple there. See if Mikey wants to take it on. Final shot in the first, Northern Ontario skip. Mike Desley, multi-rock takeout here, trying to limit the damage. What a great shot. Gets three of them moving. Excellent shot there by Mike. He's mostly buried behind this guard, but it's accessible. You could get to this green rock with the in-turn or the out-turn. Guard's high enough, and it really swoops in there with both turns. Francois is going to play his in turn. Just has to move it a couple of feet. Again, for those just tuning in, Northern Ontario 4 and 5, they've been eliminated. And Quebec will advance to the semifinals with a win. They're in a battle with New Brunswick and Saskatchewan. They all have three losses, but Quebec beat the, both teams. So they'd advance via head-to-head -head record. Final shot here in the first. Max. This one might need to curl. Weight looks really good, though. Good job of brushing. Need it for the weight now more than the line. And a beauty shot. Great scrub there by Max. So put three on the board for Quebec and a great start. They lead Northern Ontario by a field goal as we'll come back here for the second end. Alberta, 2 nothing lead early. 
over Newfoundland and Labrador. The boys from the Rock have been eliminated. They come in at uh, three and six, and Alberta's already wrapped up first place. Big game between Ontario and New Brunswick. New Brunswick fighting for their playoff lives. And I just saw their skip hog a rock, which is uh, not ideal. Other game, BC, Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan needs to win. Blank in that one to start. So a huge three to get going here for Quebec. See how much fight the Northern Ontario guys have in them. I've been in this situation a lot. And you do owe the field your best effort even though you've been eliminated, but it's a tough place to be in because you're no longer playing for yourself. Your chances of winning the Canadian Championship are gone. But you could make some friends from other provinces if you're able to win this game. That one's sliding way out there. Talking to Bill before the game, Dallas Cowboy fan, you gotta love that. Really well placed guard by Dan to start this end. This is a good spot as well. They wanted this one in. Don't really need any guards right now. That first corner guard for Northern Ontario is going to be tough to use. Bill had a real nice game. They were on here earlier in the week. Yeah, good draw weight the whole game. You normally don't notice when a lead plays really well, but you do if they don't play as well, like if they're missing the free guard zone or hogging rocks or whatever, it stands out. But when a lead's got control of their game, you tend not to notice nearly as much. Nice start to this end for Quebec. Those are two perfectly placed shots by their lead stone. Now Max is going to try to throw a tight little guard here. Gonna slide in. Triple available. You could kill all of these if you wanted to. stop here. I think it's more important to keep your shooter than it is to make the triple though. Triple's probably easier with the intern. You could just make the roll behind, you'd be pretty happy. You got lots of time to get rid of these, but this is uh, Gandhi. Dale sort of threw that one like I pronounced his name in the intro. That might be my bad. That one really got away from him and now a chance for a guard here for Team Quebec. That's it. Same way. I'd throw this guard a little higher than the first, probably somewhere closer to the Everest logo. 
Needed to stop. That's good. Stopped just in time. Would have slid any further. Would open up the back. Northern Ontario opting to play the peel. Again, they could run all of them here if they hit it perfectly. Yep, yep, yep. That was actually a much better throw. Probably just not taking enough ice there. That really curls in that spot. In turn draw is fairly blocked off if you're a right-handed player. So just another out turn guard here for Serge Reed. Probably a little bit deep. It's late enough in the end now, you might want to make all these go away. Sort of hit about half a rock with the out turn. First shot here for Scotty. Good, helps clean things up, gets two rocks Shot. off the center line, leaves Quebec lying one. There's no one. hesitation, Francois <laughs> is gonna have Serge draw right around here, sink one around the green guard. A much improved situation now for the team from Thunder Bay. Sold out crowd here in Sault Ste. Marie. You needed tickets to get in, and if you didn't have one, you're not getting him. There's a live band tonight after the game. Good scrub there, didn't quite get it buried. Rock's accessible, Scott's just gonna probably throw around board weight. He could roll behind the yellow rock here. As you can see, he's got a good half of that rock. Swings in there really hard, so pretty easy to make contact. A little more difficult to stay. Yep. Straight. Yep. You gotta go Straight. hard. Really hard. Straight. Hard. Hard. Clips the front. Clips the other yellow, misses the back. And Quebec's gonna lie too. I think they'll go back to throwing this tight little center guard here. I don't understand French very well, but I think Serge said we've had a great in so far. Skipper, don't mess it up. But that's just a loose translation. Quebec's controlled this and Northern Ontario unable early to make any double peels to try to clean things up. Scott made a good first one but just uh, over curled on that last chance now for Francois with his first rock here in two. Throw a tight guard on shot rock. I heard Maison, I know that's house. Oh, it comes back from a grade eight French. That's exactly where that one slides, too far. 
needed that one to be short of the rings, I think. Pretty easy double, pretty makeable double for Mike. Gotta play a double. Good normally. Doubles available here. You lose both your Play yellows. Double. You might be able to get your shooter somewhere in there. I mean, it's going to leave a very short run back for Quebec. But you might be able to blank the end. Two rocks from now, this might be the only rock in the house. If everything goes to plan for Northern Ontario. Nice double. Stayed wide open. Be interesting to see if that could be nosed or not and still on the rings. If you're a Quebecer, they might have to hit and roll on. He's looking to roll to our left as we look at the screen here. Just sort of nudge up beside that green one short of the rings. He'd love to stay up 3 nothing. You get a force here. You're in great shape. Northern Ontario probably has to get pretty aggressive chasing you the next end and uh, one mistake and it could be 5-1-6-1 early. Yep, 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 yep. Yes. Oh. This one's curling. They're going to try to roll the other way, and they still got to sweep to hold that. Good audible there by Serge in the house. Four foot is available, though, for Mike. Needs to bite the eight foot at best to score. It's right off or what? This will be pretty close to the area they threw when they did draw to the button to determine the hammer. All right, lots of room there. Put it around the bin. Hey, boys. Make sure we're there. Or is there giving her a light dust right now? Weight looks good, line looks good. Put a single on the board for Northern Ontario. They trail three to one at the end of two. Team Quebec will have the hammer when we come back. Not much to update on this side. Alberta continues to lead Newfoundland and Labrador two nothing. These are all men's games. New Brunswick with a steal of one in the first on Ontario and a blank in BC, Saskatchewan. Ladies Nova Scotia out to a two nothing lead over Manitoba. Saskatchewan forced to a single by Alberta in the first. BC utilized the hammer to score two on Ontario. Ontario has the hammer in the second end. And a big four ender in the first. Yukon versus Quebec. So a big start here tonight for Quebec. They come in with a record of Six and three. They sit atop the tiebreaker standings. So if they win this game, they're in. Good line. Really good Saskatchewan line. and New Brunswick right were both to win this game. Yep, yep. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. They would also be seven and three, but Saskatchewan holds the tiebreaker over New Brunswick. Okay. So yes, New Brunswick please. not only needs to defeat Ontario tonight. 
they need either Quebec or Saski to lose or their dreams here at the Everest. Canadian senior men's are done. Again, the ladies, there's just uh, too many different scenarios. There could be five teams tied with four losses, so I'm not going to get too caught up in boring you with that. As games get closer to finishing, we might have a better handle on what's going on, but uh, for now, we'll just update you on the scores as they happen. Beautiful shot there by Dan. He's off to a great start tonight. Bill Peloza throwing lead stones for Northern Ontario. He was going to come in and do some commentary tonight. He said if he got tired Line's of sweeping, really I told him he was welcome. Sweep for top eight. Top eight. I'd like to yep, say yep, hi to my yep, yep. no host, Randy, who's out to dinner yep. tonight. Yep. Oh, oh. He does a lot during the week, as much as I bust his chops. He's out to a dinner tonight with the sponsors. I believe Team Jacobs is at that dinner. I'd like to thank them for not showing up and doing any commentary this week. He... Brad came in one night, got rave reviews, so maybe he just wanted to leave on a high note. Freeze attempt here for Dan. Bill made a pretty good one. Dan's got to follow him down. He'd love to actually just over curl this if he could. Certainly goes in there enough. Beautiful ice surface here at the Community First Curling Center. It's a pretty good start to the end for the leads. No mistakes. Dale's looking to follow him down here, just build a little pyramid. Well out. Can't be heavy. Lots of line. Lots of line usually means could be heavy. No. No, never, 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 never. Okay. Just a little bit heavy, enough that Quebec could definitely get across the face and kill that stone if they choose to. Francois just studying the angles here. He wants to see what happens if he hits this green one here. Wants to save his shooter. Love to save this yellow one right on the center line as well. Real early in the end, just looking to create a scenario right now. That does a good job. Gets rid of that green, opens up the other green one on the button, but a, a chance here for Dale to play the same little shot he just played. Needs to lock on the corner, freeze here. Does two things. Makes it real tough for his rock to be removed and actually will act as a partial guard of shot rock. If he makes this perfect, Good Quebec line. probably has to go out and peel the yep, center, yep, yep. open it up. Oh, the guard. This yep, is yep, yep. curling big time. I'm not sure if that picked or not, but you can see it as it finishes. It's got no handle whatsoever, so I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. He's a much better player than that. He just made the shot essentially, so I'm going to say that one grabbed. Tough break for Northern Ontario. Now a chance for Quebec to hit and lie three with the hammer, already leading three to one. Yep, yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep, yep. Whoa. Yep, yep. 
Nice shot there to roll away. I think you have to freeze here if you're Northern Ontario. I don't think you want to be hitting your way out when you're down. 3-1 already. I think the shot is the outturn freeze. He can make a double and roll in towards the forefoot. The problem is if you hit this a hair thin and you roll out and they loop another one around, you're facing a potential three ender or worse. Still can't get over this. Yep. I think he just robbed his plumber to create his own sweep or sliding device. Keep it coming. Hey, coming. Jump it. Jump it. Beauty shot. All right. I think I'm going to stand corrected. I think that was the right shot. I just didn't know Scotty was that good. He'll know I'm joking. Beautiful shot there, but it is accessible for third stone Serge Reed. Judging by this ice, he's going to throw about board weight, kill the green, roll out towards the wing. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Back. That was not what they were hoping for. Scooted right past. Leaves Northern Ontario lying one. A chance for Scott after his beautiful hit and roll to now show us his touch. He can freeze one in here. What once looked like a potential three under for Quebec could be a steal. As he throws this, I can tell you that Saskatchewan is taking a 2-0 lead over BC. A win and they will advance to the semifinals. Yep, yep, hard, hard, really hard. Big scrub here by the front end. Hard. Come on, boys, all you got. Come on, hard, hard, hard. Are we here? Oh, then leave it there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good call by Scott to get off. But the further they bring that, the more it's going to open up their back green. So that was a great audible, great communication with the front end. This shot is here. They can go way out wide. We'll use a yellow one. Way out wide to make a play on this and throw enough weight to kill this rock. This will curl in there for fun. You could make this with board if you wanted to. He's going to go with like back 12. Better weight choice for sure. It just allows the brushers to be more involved. I really love this call. Yes, Max. Yes. Sweeping it early. It's usually dicey. Curls so much there. Yeah, he's going to clip the guard. He does open up the back. But a good chance here for Northern Ontario to draw another one just into this pocket here. Alberta out to a 6 nothing lead over Newfoundland and Labrador. That's the only game tonight that doesn't really matter in terms of playoff standings. Alberta's already wrapped up first place and Newfoundland and Labrador has been eliminated. Guys, think over here. Gotta get in there. This short's not bad. Short would be the way to miss this shot for sure. You're lying one. It's pretty protected on the outturn side. Just don't want to line up a double here. Not a lot of handle on this yeah. one. This yeah. is going to curl. Yeah. Go yeah, unlike Dale's, Dale's actually picked up something. That one by Scott had 
zero handle. That was like a dying quail coming down the ice, but it ends up in a nice spot, just bounced off their own green one. And we'll guard the shot rock. Straight back available here though for Francois. I saw him make a couple of these the other night when we had them on as a feature game. He can throw it hard and accurate. So this is his out turn being the lefty. Wants to drive the green back onto the yellow, kill both greens. If he makes this, he could be shot rock if he's able to plant the yellow. Not an easy shot. Yep, 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 yep. Whoa, whoa, yep, 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 very close, but still leaves okay, Northern so Ontario no. lying one. No, I can't. Not sure if there's anything they could do to get in there and lie too. I think it's just safe to guard this up. Higher the better. Virtually guaranteed a steal. It's a great shot by Scott Henderson, an out turn hit and roll, which I told them not to play. He made it perfect. They got a miss from Serge, and a uh, good chance now to get within one here. Now they're gonna come down and see if there's any action on the front in terms of a run back. You play top? You play top on ours? I think. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Let's see if we can see the rocks out front. They're worried that they're going to go I think we heard this himself, one right? onto this one onto the two in the rings. Well, he's, 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 got, he's got the top top. He's got this run for, for three, right? And he'll take it on for sure. Francois won't even blank. Let's go in there again. Just to hear more ice to throw a little So the way to defend that is to throw another one right around this tight yellow here. You need to get a green rock into the rings right in this area here. That way when they make the run back, they can't get rid of your green. Really nice call here. That's pretty good weight, hey? Okay. His weight was perfect on the last one. To be honest, he just did not have enough handle such an aggressive spot. This is by no means a helicopter, but it does have more, more handle than the first. Really nice shot. Beautiful. Francois still gonna maybe take this one on, it looks like it. So firm is the call. Gonna play dominoes here. Green onto yellow, onto green, onto yellow, onto green. Boom, boom, plant this one here. If you can make all the greens go away, 
He might be able to score two here. Maybe even three. There's a rock over here as well. Burn or snows there. Or snows there yeah. okay. This should be close. He just threw it down this path. The rocks flying everywhere. Final shot here. Third end. Quebec leading 3-1. An opportunity to put more on the board. But right now, Northern Ontario in a steal position. I think he's going to hit it too high. Yeah, not quite. I think it's a steal of one. Maybe not, though. It is not a steal of one. A single on a great shot by Quebec. Maintain their lead as we head to the fourth. They'll be up 4-1, Northern Ontario with the hammer. Brilliant shot by Scott, kept Northern Ontario in it, but a great uh, great reply by Francois. If it curls anymore, he might get two or three. Enough to put up the single, though. They come in with a record of six wins, three losses, a win, and they advance straight to the semifinals. There are no tiebreakers here. Teams are well aware of what their standings are in terms of the draw, shootout, and head-to-head -head scenarios. So basically, if Quebec and Saskatchewan win tonight, they know they advance. New Brunswick needs to win and have one of those other two teams lose on the men's side. Again, the women's is way too messy to even talk about. Just update scores for now. Ontario replied with a single in the ladies, but they trail BC 2-1. Oh, yeah. sure. cool. 1-1, one, one, Alberta and Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan with the hammer playing the third. Big 4-0 lead for Quebec in their game versus the Yukon. Nice rare. Quebec comes in with four losses, but they could drag a bunch of teams go, back boys. to them, potentially. Okay. I got Scotty. And they're sitting in third place in the shootout distance, so they are still very much alive, but they need help. Nice scrub there by Mike. Maybe you should consider playing front end. He really laid the brush down on that one. Well, how's that a shot? You know, all oh, the coach wants no part of that. Just got a thumbs down from the Northern Ontario coach. I thought, I thought he looked pretty good there. Better than I ever swept. Gonna drop that one just back of the Everest button there. there. Gonna get double corner guards here from Northern Ontario, trailing by three. Gonna try to create some offense, use the free guard zone to their advantage. Yeah. Eight nothing now, Alberta, Newfoundland, and Labrador. Here. Give me one, keep moving. Mike just heard me talk about a sweeping. He just tried to show off again there for the last two feet. One thing I did notice though, he does lose his breath very quickly. Not sure he can go end to end. He's better short spurts. Max is going to throw a tight little guard here. I'd like to be somewhere around the center line. They've had a lot of rocks in play tonight, but they played at a pretty quick pace. 
Nice scrub. That ends up in a good spot. Might be a hole here for Northern Ontario to play a double. This might be the more prudent play, though. Just hit and roll for a corner guard here. You'd probably clip the yellow one in the top 12 foot if you made this properly. Actually, all right. Sort of sets up a little bit of a pocket in the forefoot. You still have your two corner guards. It shows you the difficulty of trying to play defense with the five rock rule when a team actually properly employs the two corners. Quebec's lying two right now, but one little mistake. And you can drop three for fun. They're actually throwing a guard right now and they're up 4-1. Like it to be a little deeper than both of the green guards, just past the Everest logo. A little disappointed that none of the Quebec guys listed Guy Lafleur as their favorite athlete. Yes, sir. Pierre Charette won't like that they didn't list him as their favorite curler. Pierre Charette's favorite curler is Pierre Charette. That one over curled for Max. He'd like to have that one back. Does allow access now for Northern Ontario to get at these rocks in the forefoot. Play a soft little tap back here. Intern draw for Dale. Good line. Yep, yep, yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Curl, curl. First they're straight and it actually has to curl, which means it's it heavy curl. for sure. Yeah, the double chip off was not hey, necessary. Can you not hear me? Mike was yelling, trying to get them to curl that, but they didn't listen to him. I know what that feels like, Mike. My team never listened to me either. Aggressive call here now, but I think it's the right one. Lying two, they're gonna throw a draw and get in there for first, second, or third shot. Out count the green, because if you don't get there, then Northern Ontario will get there first, although this looks way out there, and it looks like it might be flying too. Start to come down now. Still has some curling and some stopping to do. Just in time. That's a nice spot. Good shot there by Serge. Well managed by the front end. They didn't really lay a brush to that the whole way down. Just wait to hear. Indication is just back eight weight here for Scott. He throws, as we saw last end, a bit of a lazier handle as well. So getting in there as far as curl won't uh, be the problem. Just has to manage the weight properly. Where's the weight? Okay, good, good line. Big scrub here yep. by Dale trying to carve this one over. Wade looks really good. It's all right. Gonna leave Quebec lying too, but that might have been about as well as he could do with that shot. Yep. 
There's a corner guard out front here that uh, Quebec might have to utilize later in the end, the way this is shaping up. Chance to throw a tight guard here now for Serge Reed. Throwing third stones for Quebec. Fourth end action from the Community First Curling Center at the Everest Canadian Senior Men's and Women's Curling Championships. I'm your host, Peter Steski. Been here all week, mostly because Randy never shows up. It's not uh, not their best attempt at a guard. Pretty easy double peel attempt if they want to open things up. Northern Ontario, those two rocks go for fun. I think it's the only shot. Need to try to find a way to open up the forefoot a bit here. Gonna call a timeout. This timeout is brought to you by Everest, the proud sponsor of the Canadian Senior Men's and Women's Curling Championships, as well as the Canadian Club Curling Championships. They're in partnership with Curling Canada and local host committees to put on world-class events. We had one in Ottawa last week. This one has been no different. Great job here in Sault Ste. Marie. 100 volunteers, people have no idea how much work there is that goes into these events behind the scenes. So my hat is off to the Sioux and Curling Canada, and I've loved working with Everest the last two weeks. If I keep chirping Randy, he's probably gonna get me fired, but that's okay. Gonna go with the double peel here, open up the front. Got to pay a little attention where the one yellow is going to go because it could ricochet off the green and also where your shooter goes here. Tons of rocks flying everywhere. A lot of action. All right. Interesting. I don't think I'd be able to telestrate that one up, and I'm glad I didn't try. When the smoke clears, it looks like it's uh, Quebec lying three. But a short little run back available for Northern Ontario on this rock right here. So I'd imagine that uh, Quebec will try to do something to block the path to that. Somewhere corner frozen would be perfect. Maybe right on the center line in the eight foot, 12 foot would work out as well. Scotty really cleaned up the front there. Coming to Skip's Rocks here in the fourth. Quebec looking to punch their ticket to the semifinals. They will do so with a win. New Brunswick making things a little easier on Saskatchewan and Quebec as they trail Ontario four to one. They absolutely have to win to stay alive tonight. They need to win and get help. Line looks really good. You could not carry that down and put it in a better spot. Great job there by the sweepers. Nice throw by Francois. He even really blocked this thin little in off as well. Like I said, you could not put that uh, rock in a better spot. There's room there. They're gonna try to just squeak the rock he just threw and play off of this top yellow. It's gonna be real hard to get in for shot rock. I mean, it's gonna be real hard to get in for second shot. Sort of like that shot against Alberta there, you have to throw a smoke or get it going across. 
I think he's going to whip this one down here too by the sounds of it. Yeah. No, well, we got to. A little bit of error. So he's looking to paper this guard here, redirect off of this into here. I'm not sure there's enough room. I also don't know that he has any other options. So away we go here. First stone and four from Mike Desolet throwing skip rocks for Northern Ontario. This one needs a curl. Yeah, he did. It uh, looked like about as well as he could. Got in there for second shot, it looks like. But it also looks like this run back's pretty short, and if you make it, you lie. I don't know if I can count that high. This isn't looking good. Lie five or six. No, not five, four. No, not five, four. Short little intern run back for the lefty. Francois Roberge. Yes, done. On it early. All done. All done. Oh, whoa. 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 Yeah, it just clips their back one out. They lie five, <laughs> leading by three. Little in off opportunity. How much fun is this throwing an in off versus five here? It's probably the only way to score because uh, the draw with the intern, this path, by the time you get past this rock, it curls so much, you're in dicey to get past this one. So he's gonna come in, play here, hope that they out count this one, which it looks like they should. He could actually just make the double directly into that pocket. But facing five, this is uh, not a lot of fun. Final shot in the fourth. In off with the game on the line. And this is gone. And that's five on the board. 9-1 lead for Quebec. We'll be back after this fourth end break from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario at the Everest Canadian Men's and Ladies Senior Curling Championships. the shy, quiet kid who loved math. But when I saw math come alive in the geometry of the game, I found my passion and my voice. It's a game of precision, a game of inches. It's the equation that now defines who I am.
One might say I was born to overcome challenges. Two months premature, in and out of the hospital, and a heart condition. My parents call me their miracle baby. As with all survivors, I searched for my place in this world, and I found it here. This pebbled ice is where I battle now, and at only 12, I am already a five-year veteran of this sport. I have my sights set on the Olympics. I will push hard to get there. The only size that matters in this sport is the size of your dreams. should really be curling. This ice is everything. It's where I come to feel close to her, to feel whole. This building helped raise me when my mother no longer could. When I step on the ice, she steps with me. My dad is my rock. We are a team now, like the four of us when we step on the ice. People say that this isn't a contact sport, but that's not true. It contacts you where you need it the most. Welcome back, curling fans. We have a piper in the background here at the Everest Canadian Senior Men's and Women's Curling Championship at the Community First Curling Center in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. No way to sugarcoat this one. It is Quebec 9, Northern Ontario 1. Teams do have to play a minimum of six ends. Believe me, I just lobbied pretty hard to get an exception for that rule, but uh, I was just thinking about the guys in the truck for the most part. Ran into Bill Blows at the break. He wanted to do some commentary and he'd really like to jump in the booth right now and get off the ice. Just one of those games, it's hard for Northern Ontario to play because they've already been eliminated from the competition. So you're gonna go out there, you're gonna try your best, but your heart's not 100% in it. And the guys from uh, Quebec have taken advantage of a couple of breaks and uh, all of a sudden the game is a little bit out of control. Can update you on our other scores. Saskatchewan, if they win, are in. They lead BC 3-2. to two. Ontario could eliminate New yeah. Brunswick. Ontario's wrapped up second place with their 8-1 record. Whoa. 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 That's a really nice tick. Dan's come to play tonight, yeah. that's for sure. Ticks that one on the ring, so now he's able to well, it might have spun off on him. That'd be unfortunate. Anyway, Ontario's wrapped up second. New Brunswick needs a win to stay alive, but they trail 4-2 without the hammer at the fourth end break. Alberta up a touchdown and a field goal, 10-0 on Newfoundland and Labrador. 
I think they're just looking to whip the rocks up oh, and down and get off of there. Again, all, all games have to go six. Ladies, Ontario trails BC six to one. That'd give Ontario four losses. They'd be part of a potential messy tiebreaker scenario. There's not going to be tiebreaker games. It's determined by head to head and the total LSD distance for your draw to the button. Ontario sitting in fourth place in that, so there is a chance they could still be alive. Potential for five ladies teams to end up with four losses. You'd have two teams at seven and two, eight and two. That would be Saskatchewan and BC, and then there would be five teams with four losses, and that would come down to a very complicated head-to-head -head and shootout situation. A lot of action going on at the club tonight. I'm not sure what this Piper's doing. Tight. Ran into both teams the at the uh, fourth end break, told them to play fast. Wow, wow, Set. Out turn draw here for Dale. Okay, I'm afraid to say his last name now because I've been told it's Weirisma, and then I just talked to their coach and he says it's Weirisma, and I'm gonna trust the coach because he seems to know what he's talking about. This one's wide open in the back. You can peel guards. I think at nine to one, you just want to make some stuff go away if you're Team Quebec. Max El Malay. Out turn peel, gonna over curl a hair. She ends up in a decent spot. That one's a nice, easy double peel on the next one, right so here. that's okay. Dale's gonna draw around these staggered guards here. Gonna have to go to line. Gonna have to go to the line. Gotta go line. Yep, yep. Yep, keep it going. Then you split it in. Check, check, check. Go, go, go. Right on, right on, right on. Okay, that works. So this double peel, pretty easy. Clean things up. They're gonna leave a couple of uh, green ones in the rings, but uh, this could cause them the most problem because of the staggered situation. I think that's why you're seeing Francois make this play here with third stone, yep. Serge Reed. Whoa, yes! All right, all right, what's the shooter, Max? And we're all done. Springs that over the top. Freeze attempt here now for Northern Ontario. They don't have any guards, but they've got a nice situation here around the forefoot. They've already got a rock corner frozen to a yellow. Like to get another one in there. They've also got a rock in the back 12. Quebec's got to be a little bit careful here. Scotty's first here in five. One of the great Line's gentlemen great. of the game. Always enjoyed sitting down with Scott, whether we beat him or he beat us. Good. We've talked about it uh, last week and this week. They, they come from the Fort William Curling Club. One of my favorite clubs in Canada to play at. So is the Port Arthur up there in Thunder Bay. We're in a nice spot here, the Community First Curling Center in Sault Ste. Marie. 
final yeah. championship pool draw. Semifinals and the Hard finals time. will be tomorrow. Serge able to peel that one out. Still a chance here for Northern Ontario to score two or three. Why well, you do this? Up here. Like that? Two options. You can draw out to the wing. You can make a play right now. I think I like the draw first. Yeah. You could draw right around these. All right. Got to be careful where you put it, though. You could, uh, if you over curl and go somewhere in here, they'll be able to make a play where your green's going to go out. This yellow's going to come back. So the draw to the wing might be the better play. I mean, let's be honest. You're down 9 1. You're a little desperate here, searching for a way to get back in it. This is yep. not going to yep. over going. curl, which is good. All right. Nice wait. Be uh, tricky for Quebec yeah, to come oh, down yeah. with yellow and make a play on this. If they ever over curl and disturb this situation, all of a sudden four is in play. <laughs> Huh? You could draw down to this one, but you're up 9-1, uh, so I don't love that. You could hit the open back one as well. That'd be pretty conservative. You could also just rip these two out. That opens up this double here. You can make that on your next. So if you made both shots, you'd only give up two. So they're going to throw hack weight here, chase this back one. The reason they're playing hack is that way if they do disrupt this situation, they're not going to lose their yellow that's on the forefoot. They're going to be quiet enough weight to save that one. Veteran call here. Max was talking about the freeze. I don't hate it, but I think this is a pretty makeable shot for Francois, the way he's been throwing it all week. His favorite curler is fellow lefty Mark Kennedy. Mark plays with the boys here out of Sault Ste. Marie. Tough trials lost for them, but they'll rebound. They'll be back in the briar for sure. This has to curl. Really has to curl. Did not curl. Little heavy. He wanted to be hack. That was well beyond the boards. So a chance now for Northern Ontario to hit and lie four. Short run back here, not even a run back really, it's basically an open hit. You want to save the shooter, get some separation, not set up uh, too easy a double. Good news is you could score four. The bad news is you're still going to be down four. And you're not going to have the hammer. Losing the shooter there, not helpful. Double possibility now for Francois. You can breathe a little easier. 
Not the end of the world, even if you drop three here. Yeah, I'm not sure what the discussion is here. It's basically a nose hit double. I'm not saying it's an easy shot, I'm just saying it's really the only shot to play. In turn hit, final shot here, fifth end. Francois Robert, 9-1 lead. Trying to clean up a couple of green ones Whoa. here. Northern Ontario with the hammer to come. Go, 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 Just go. clipped it out. Very nice shot there. Just narrowly chipped it, but uh, still chance for two here for Northern Ontario. So this is the best action Mike has seen tonight, an open ring to draw to. Just needs paint, pick up a deuce. Perfect weight, good shot. So at the end of five, Quebec nine, Northern Ontario three. We've got a final in the Alberta game with Newfoundland and Labrador. Alberta winning 11 to one, covered the point spread there and the over. Nice double. So congratulations to Alberta. They go through the round robin portion, 10 and 0, first place. They'll await their opponent tomorrow in the semifinal. We know that Ontario will be in the other semifinal. They've locked up second place. I think it will be Ontario versus Quebec in one semifinal if these scores hold. And right now Saskatchewan in the driver's seat to claim the fourth and final semifinal berth. They're up 3-2 on BC right now. BC has the hammer in the fifth, but New Brunswick is losing tight to shows. Ontario in a game that they have to win. Yep, really tight, come on. Here we're going. And Ontario has the hammer in Good that sweet. one. Nice shot, Billy. Nice center guard there thrown up by Bill. Gonna play the tick shot here with Dan. Dan's had a very solid right. game tonight. Made the tick shot last end. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Trying to carve this one over, just chip it. Chipped it, not very far. In ladies, Quebec leading the Yukon six to two. Nova Scotia up three two over Manitoba. Alberta just picked up a deuce, but they trail four three without the hammer versus Team Saskatchewan. And Ontario off to a rough start, down 6-1, heading to the break versus BC. They'll have the oh, hammer boy. when they start the second half, yeah. but they've got an uphill climb. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. No, 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 no. 
Nice shot, Biggie. Here we go. So Heard him just call Bill Biggie. The guy's a giant. I'm going to hire him for uh, security if I ever need it. Another tick shot attempt here for Dan Bedard. Close. Tick's got to be a lot easier when you're uh, up six with the hammer, I would think. Far less consequence. Makes that one Why? real nice. Loses the shooter right out of play as well, or at least through the back of the rings there. Oh, I as I out. say that, it may basically <laughs> looks like Francois kicked it back in. That was some super spin there. <laughs> All right. Back in Francois' day there when he played for Jean-Michel, he would have been able to sweep that one right out of play. In turn, come around here. Sweet for Jay. Uh, 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 uh. Girl, 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 girl. Come on, hit it, hit it hard. Come on, boys. Come on. Nice shot. Good joke. Tight guard. There's a run back possibility. You can play the straight peel. They're going to go with the straight peel. This is dictated by the scoreboard for sure. Max Amole, Elmole, sorry. Intern Peel. Yes, sir. Yes. They went with the audible. Did it too late? He's going to play the back one, tips the top. Uncharacteristic miss there. A little careless with the sweeping. They probably could have got that by and got the back one. Chance for Dale to draw another one in here. Line's tighter. Straight, straight, straight. Okay. Ontario ladies straight. were held to a single with the hammer, so now they're down six to two without the hammer playing six, so they're going to need a miracle. And Saskatchewan scored their own deuce versus Alberta. So it's Sherry Anderson and her team leading Cheryl Bernard by three. Yes! Yes! Run double here. Yes, yes! Really nice shot there by Max. No center guards now. A couple just off the center, though, still covering a piece of the four. Scott's going to draw around this one. It looks in the women's like uh, Saskatchewan could move to eight and two. Definitely looks like BC is going to move to eight and two. Good line, really good line. Ontario and Alberta look like they're headed for four losses. Quebec's going to win tonight. They're going to have four losses. Big game is Nova Scotia, Manitoba. Nova Scotia can sneak into the playoffs with a win tonight by the looks of it. Good scrub there by the guys. Short little run back here. You could double peel your guards. Looks like that's going to be the play. They're not too worried about that rock in the 12 foot. In turn, peel for Serge. He got out to this one. Knock! Knock! Hard! They went with the audible that time. They called it in time to pick the back. Same shot here for Scott. Could be his last throw of this Canadian Seniors Championship.
Good line. Bring the T line. Bring the T. Yep, gotta go. This is curling. Keep it straight. Hard, come on, boys. Hard. Iron up front. Sorry. Okay, Ruby. Yeah. They'll just peel this one out. Like to clip the yellow on the way by. Your shooter would spin out the side door with the gear effect. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yep. I want an over curl. It's going to sit right there. There'll be an outturn draw available to the button now. That's good, eh? For Mike. He would have killed to have this shot available last time we played in this direction. He faced five counters, had to try an in off off the wing, over curled, steal a five, and that's how this game got out of control. Thanks, beating. Boys. Top button here. Out turn draw around to the button. Swing your spot on the ice. It's good. Big luck. This will just go in sideways. Real nice throw. Run back is available or Francois could follow him down. 90% sure it's gonna be a run back though. Or you just rip your two yellows. You could just peel both of your yellows here. Clip this super thin. And then, uh, worst case, you're going to probably have an open hit to hold them to a steal of one or to score. I just don't want to do anything too silly at this stage. Francois's first rock here in six, up six. Throwing the peel. Hard! Hard! Whoa! Whoa! Yep! Yes! And look at that, what a beauty. Yep. Gets a perfect redirect. That's what happens when it's your night. Great throw. You could hear him yelling, yes, yes. He knew that was there. Northern Terra has to hit the shot rock here. Chance to lie two. But I don't think it's going to be enough to warrant another end. Yes. Got to go hard. Jumped on this one right out of the hand. Mike does not like it. I think he's gonna go right past everything. So it sums up the night. It's been a rough night for Northern Ontario. Again, it's very hard to get up for the game. They're four and five coming in. They've been eliminated. Tough province to get out of Northern Ontario, even to make it to the seniors. Good job by them. I'm sure they'll be back. 
Mike's probably just turned just over 50 because I played juniors against them and I, I turned 50 this year. And I think this will be the final stone of this game. Opportunity, draw in here, sit to. Let you know you can go to curling.ca to find the scores for the rest of the games and playoff updates. You can also check the ticker on TSN, but that's a final. Quebec 11, Northern Ontario 3. We'll be back tomorrow for semi-final and final action on Championship Saturday from Sault Ste. Marie at the Everest Senior Curling Championships. My name is Peter Steske. Happy to be your host. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you tomorrow.